Today, I'm here to talk about some things that absolutely no one has discussed. Deion Sanders, Coach Primetime, has the opportunity to revolutionize professional football. He can open doors for so many more young pro athletes. And he can create so many opportunities for everyone else in pro football. You know, it's amazing to me when people like Jason Whitlock talk about Deion Sanders. You know, and this guy never ever gives solutions. He just attacks the person. And Whitlock has a very standard career in sports news. And let me tell you guys something about sports news. When you're not talking about the wins and losses and the stats, everything else is gossip. Belittling and gossip is like the special effects of sports news. There should be no place for that. What makes these guys so great? They only gossip sports. And everyone else talked about Coach Prime's nepotism, his loss of recruits, his wins and losses. Let me reiterate this one more time. A coach that inherits a losing team has a 40% chance of having a winning season his first season. Not a coach that inherits a losing program has a 20% chance of having a winning season his first season. When I look at topics to discuss, I always look for the business lesson in it. So let me set the tone of this here video with some very important numbers. Coach Prime's hiring has been the most successful college football hiring in history. What he has done monetarily to rejuvenate Colorado University, the Buffaloes, eclipses everything that Nick Saban did in 2007 with Alabama and Urban Meyer did in 2011 going to Ohio State. That school is on the hook for a $500,000 a year salary. And this guy has made this school over $280 million. And he had did over 80% of that before they even had hyped a football. Now that's a bad dude. Please remember this. No matter what happens to Deion Sanders, they can fire him tomorrow. But Colorado is good for the next 10 years. Everything is paid for. All the football operations and all the school operations. Coach Prime has secured 10 years for this school so that they can get better. 10 years is a very magical number for anyone or anything or any endeavor that you have plans for. There are no if, ands, but, ors about it. Coach Prime is motivated by his sons and he wants to coach his sons at the highest level, the pros. Now there is a way that he can do just that. He can get his sons into the pros and coach them. And on his way, he can revolutionize professional football and help a whole lot of other people out. And let me tell you how he can do this. Now this is when the Coach Prime Times marketing strategy comes into play. Let's take a look at the reality of the NFL. And I am not gonna hold back. You know, when I was a little boy growing up in Memphis, I remember vividly that we had a pro football team called the Memphis Grizzlies way before the NBA basketball team Grizzlies. And on that team was Rosie Greer, Paul Warfield, Larry Zonka, Danny White was the quarterback. Danny White went on to play for Dallas. Remember when Dwight Clark caught the pass and uh, Danny White was Dallas's quarterback that game. Guys, you may not believe this, but at that time, we had the title of being America's cleanest city, Memphis, Tennessee, and we were the eighth largest city in the country. And it seems like just as they got started going good, it was over. The World Football League was done. So after I left Memphis, a new pro league showed up uh, called the USFL. And we were called the Showboats 
And uh, we had, I think Jim Kelly plays there. I think Reggie White, if I'm not mistaken. Trump had a team up in New Jersey and they signed this real hot running back called Herschel Walker. He was a, a first big signing of uh, the USFL. And just like that, the USFL was done. Then came the He Hate Me League, the XFL. But just like that, they were done. And guess who's back again? The USFL. And I'm going to tell you guys right now, based on their marketing strategy, they will not make it again. And I just went back about 50 years, and all these leagues have one thing in common. They can't compete with the NFL. The good old NFL. The NFL will hog tie a city and threaten the league if they don't build a new stadium. And if they don't build that stadium, they will leave. Look at St. Louis, San Diego, Oakland, just to name a few of the recents. The NFL has seemed to have made the football experience only for the rich. Their prices are so high, if a regular American family can get into a game, they can't even afford the popcorn. The NFL is so powerful that they can take the team from the owner. The owner of the Commanders, I think he was forced to sell his team. And look at their life's blood. They have a recycled coaching hiring pool. No new blood. In the NFL, there's so much nepotism and cronyism that they don't even want you in there unless you are directly from their lineage. And do you see their minions on the TV talk gossip shows? They would tell you that you don't deserve to be up there talking football because you're not rich enough, smart enough, and you did play the game. They are so bold that you can pay all that money and go to one of their games and they will force their bullshit political views down your throat. They will even sing another national anthem. And all the aforementioned things they do without anybody's consent, not caring about what anybody else thinks. They are the almighty and powerful NFL. Is it legal to push the people around that have given you so much? Is it legal to push the city around that's given you so much? Is it legal to be the only pro football ticket in town when so many others have tried and probably failed because of you. Can everybody in unison say antitrust laws? Can everybody in unison say monopoly? Oh, but the poor NFL argues that we're not a monopoly because every team represents an individual business that competes among each other. But the NFL can run off Dan Snyder. But the NFL spreads the money around so that the small market teams even gets a bigger piece of the pie. The NFL even acts as a single entity when they bargain with the players or other stakeholders. Hey guys, we need new blood in professional football. And Coach Primetime has shown us how to get there. All these other pro leagues failed because they didn't have the money. And if you don't have the money, you don't have the time that you need to succeed. What if you're somebody like Coach Mendez here, born with no arms or leg? Or what if you're somebody that just loved football, but you didn't have the physical skills to make it? But you studied and you learned and you learned and you studied and you learned and you learned. Why should you have a chance to coach someone? Why should you have a chance to teach and coach at the highest level when you're the best? Playing the game has nothing to do with how good of a coach, a teacher, or analyst you can be. All you need is an open opportunity 
not a closed one like the NFL has. Coach Prime, our modern day Rosa Parks, has shown us the way to slay the NFL and open a myriad of opportunities for each and every one of us, especially our young pro athletes. Because he has shown us the way and the strategy lies in the Coach Prime marketing strategy. The Deion Sanders marketing strategy, number one. The head coach has to be a highly public winner, leader, phenom, and finisher. Number two, he has a long and well-maintained brand. Now, number three is very important. He has the ability to make people immediately invest. Number four, the head coach has to be a media darling. They court the media. They have a well-established following. And they have high charisma and high character to their following. After Coach Prime Time breaks winning records at Colorado the next two years, he can then take his two boys to the USFL as pros and compete directly with the NFL. Our season will not start after the NFL season. Our season will run concurrently with the NFL season. We will compete with them head to head. Coach Pryor will come in to the USFL and secure a team as the head coach. And with his marketing strategy, his hiring alone will secure 10 years worth of operational income for his USFL pro team. Now we have a 16 team league and this is serious. Coach Prime cannot do it all himself. He can't be the only one with the Midas touch. Now we need 15 more coaches that can come in and just like Coach Prime, secure at least 10 years of operational income. Now this is a very exclusive group. Now this is the fun part. Now let me throw some names at you guys that can generate the same buzz and fanfare as Coach Prime and also generate the same monetary investment as Coach Prime. My first head coach is Coach Prime. Now we're going to keep him in Colorado somewhere or we're going to take him back to where it all started, Atlanta. And my second head coach would be the great Tom Brady. We're going to throw him right up in New England where he made his greatness happen. Ooh, and my third head coach is a great one, Barack Obama. We're gonna take Coach Obama and put him in St. Louis. Now my fourth head coach is a good one too. He can make things happen. And we're gonna put him in Austin, Texas. Elon Musk. Oh, we gotta have somebody in the Seattle, Tacoma area. Now who could be better? Bill Gates. Okay, New York area, give me Trump and Jay-Z. Two teams. Oh, my next guy can make things happen, or he'll die trying. Steve Harvey, Cleveland area. I would like to see somebody that can get it done in SoCal, Southern California. How about Snoop Dogg? He has a strong football background. And we'll also need somebody in NorCal. How about Schwarzenegger? Let's just say in the Michigan area, we'll put two people together, head coach and assistant. Let's say Eminem and Kid Rock. Now I have one more name and I need 16 total. That's where I need you guys to come and help me out and let me know how you would do it. But for my last coach, this will be a money maker. My last head coach will bring in a legion of new fans. And they will be unpredictable. And my last coach is Taylor Swift. And no matter how you want to look at it, Taylor Swift, she does have football in her. You guys might be saying that I am making a mockery of pro football. But this is nothing new. If you look at any publicly traded company, 
on the stock market, they do this every day. They get a guy in there that's with craft. Next thing you know, he's with GM. Next thing you know, he's selling weed at some cannabis company. They bring these CEOs in to sell stock. With Coach Prime's marketing strategy, we can bust the NFL up and give pro football back to the people.